Good morning. This is the ramblings of an Indisciple Mind podcast for Tuesday, December 22nd, 2015. So it's a wet Tuesday morning. Looks like it's been raining overnight. I think it's done. I'll tell you, if, if with the amount of rain we've had in the last couple days, if it had been snow, we would have been buried quite deeply. I've got a bit of a sore throat this morning. I, I don't know what's going on there. Um, I'm taking all the normal sinusy kind of medications. I'm hoping it's, I don't know, I'm hoping it's something mild. I got me a, since today's my last day to be going into the office, I went ahead and got me some Starbucks. And in fact, I splurged and got me a caramel macchiato, which has got milk in it, and the creaminess helps the throat. Had some tea this morning, too, before I got ready. That helped a little bit as well. Uh... What else is going on today? It's Christmas week. I've got two working days left today and tomorrow. So I'm looking forward to getting done. With that, what else? I went to my eye doctor yesterday. The guy who did the the LASIK and everything's looking good. I can stop wearing this uh, stupid little mask that he had me wearing at night. And now I'm back to wearing my CPAP, which is giving me some better sleeps. So that's good. And I can uh, do any normal activities. I just got to be careful not to get poked in the eyes. So I shouldn't be hanging around the Three Stooges anytime soon, apparently. is going on? I don't know. I've been thinking about, you know, know, Christmas is approaching, so that is kind of a a focal point. And I've been thinking about my father in Christmas. You know, I think my father was probably happiest at Christmas time when he could fool us kids. And I may have talked about this before, I don't know, but if I have, it's, it's been quite some time ago. And, you know, I was, I was pretty gullible and trusting as a kid. I don't know what happened to that. But I remember there were two, two main presents that I actually... There were two main presents, but there's actually... He actually got me twice in one Christmas. Interesting. I forgot about that. But, you know, there were times where he liked to to pull one over on me. And I, I, I don't recall if he did it to my sister or not. He may not have. It may have just been me. <laughs> but there was, one, there was one year, you know, he had a, um, he had a, a gunsmithing business that he did in the basement, you know, part-time. As a, as a, you know, hobby he's making money from kind of thing. And he had this thing that was it was it was something that let you see it was um, this tool that, you know, basically look like a slide rule, you know, kind of a big slide rule, but, you know, kind of a slide rule, but yardstick-wise. But you had this thing that slid up and down that, that had a trigger hole in it. I mean, it wasn't really a trigger hole. And the whole point of it, I guess, was to see, you know, how long of a gun, how far out maybe the trigger should be from the end of the stock kind of thing. And my dad had me try get measured with this one time because he said he was, he was, he was, he was getting a, a, a gun for a, um, a customer 
who had a little boy, and so he was going to use me as, as an estimate for, for how big the gun should be. And, you know, lo and behold, there I get a BB gun under the Christmas tree that year. Now, I, you know, I, I, I'm not aware that BB guns come in different sizes. <laughs> The more I think about it. I've always been confused about that point. I'm like, wow, they come in different sizes? You know? I, I can see for like, you know, a shotgun or something like that, that they might have, you know, different sizes, potentially as far as, you know, trigger placement and stock size and that kind of nonsense. I, I don't remember that my BB gun had a custom stock. I think it was kind of the standard plastic stock. I don't know. So I, I don't know if he did that just to play with me, just to see if I would get it or not. And, you know, I, I, I realized as I was getting ready to tell the story that he got me twice that Christmas. So there was this long box in the tree, and there was this there was this toy, I forget what it was, called but it was basically, it was a big styrofoam ship. I think it was supposed to be like a Coast Guard cutter. And it had this helicopter. And it was basically a, a little helicopter. You had these little controls. This was all wired. And, and the helicopter was wired to like a central base. And you could make it take off. And you could go forward or backward. And it would go in a circle around the space with a swivel. And you could, uh, you know, you could land on a helipad on the ship, and they had like little, you know, things you could pick up with the helicopter. And I wanted that toy so badly, and I thought that that, I thought that that package of the gun was it. And I was just, I was, I could not wait to open that because I'm thinking, ah, it's my ship, that's my helicopter, I can't wait. And I get and open it, and it was a BB gun, which was cool, but it wasn't the ship. And of course, and then a little, a little bit later, he's like, well, go look in the closet. And I look in the hall closet, and you know, there it is. And so I, I, I got the BB gun and the little uh, helicopter Coast Guard cutter thing that was, I played with that so much. Even, you know, the Coast Guard cutter, was just, it was just styrofoam. And, and after a while, the styrofoam kind of disintegrated, and I didn't care. I, I remember playing with that thing where I didn't have the, the styrofoam ship anymore. I just had the, the controls and, the, and, the, and, and, and all the rest of it, because that was all like one wired together piece. And I would just use that. And I played with that for a good long time. The other time he got me was we used to do these wired airplanes. Uh, wire control airplanes, and that's where you've got these um, airplanes. We used gas motors because I don't think electrics were too prevalent. You probably do electric now, but they were. Um, you had a set of controls that would control the rudder, or not not the not the rudder. The rudder was always set up to go into a a left turn, and you would control the elevator. And fancy ones had had like a trigger control also that we could control the throttle. But the base one, it was just you started the engine, you let it go, and it spun, uh, and, and you could you could make it go. You had this little thing that was like a little handle, and you would pull back, and it would the plane would go up, and the and you you go in a circle. You had a certain length of wire there, actually two wires, one at the top, one at the bottom, of the handle, and that, that would control it. And so these wires would lead to the wing, and then from the wing it would it would go back to the elevator and go up or down. And you would stand there and you would fly this plane in circles, like on a parking lot or something, until um, the gas tank ran out. And then, you know, unless you have the throttle control thingy. And my dad had, had made this one plane that was a wire control plane. Once again, supposed to be for a friend, but, you know, he had it hanging up in his workshop which was the same place, which was the gunsmith place, you know. So this is kind of like the font of all my, all my getting fooled at Christmas time, I guess. Um, but he had this thing hanging up, but it had like newspaper over one wing. 
and I was like, and I saw this once, I'm like, oh, what's that about? It says, ah, oh, it's a plane I'm making for so-and-so, and blah, 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 blah. Once again, dumb trusting kids, like, okay, dad, whatever you say. And then come Christmas time, um, You know, what do I find? I don't remember if that was in a box or, or, or how that gift was given to me, since obviously not an easy thing to wrap. But it turns out the that plane was for me. And on the wing that was covered, he'd, he'd done a uh, silhouetted uh, stencil kind of thing of uh, Snoopy on his doghouse being the Red Baron. And I remember flying that quite a, quite quite a bit. I had a good time with that. So uh, yeah, that was apparently I was a bit uh, gullible as a younger person. Uh, I, I I've since grown out of that, <laughs> to say the least. But uh, you know that that's kind of the fun of Christmas is 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 the wonder, and as a kid and the fun of being an adult is taking advantage of that I don't know that I've actually done that with my daughter I probably still could I know I've done it verbally with her kind of kind of thing and you know she'd believe me and she'd believe me about something and then she'll find out on Christmas it wasn't true but I'm not I'm not sure I went to quite the extent my dad did so I guess I guess he was the master Anyway, I'm pulling up to the gas station, so I'm going to end this for today. I will be back tomorrow, and I'll be talking to you then. So, be seeing you.